beautiful Sikh people who um, owned a, a spa and an eyeglass. They're, they're um, up. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Right op Optimistry. Yeah, yeah. Something or like that. I, 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 I could never get that word right. Them, <laughs> Not obstetrics. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Um, they. So down in Kenosha, I worked okay. for them for a year. I'm a Reiki master. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So that's where I started to actually learn about okay. Sikhism. Um, yeah, I mean, the this philosophy is very simple. I'm sure you've probably, probably read about it. But we made this sort of leaflet, which is uh, a bit eye-catching, you know. Yeah. And it's got, like, nice pictures. So, I mean, the message is very simple, which you probably heard today as well. But there's one in creator made all of us. And it's like more like a, it's like a force and a being. It's everything, right? It's hard to describe what it is, yeah? Um, but it's definitely not some guy up in heaven with a big white beard. Right. That's not what we think, yeah? Right. I'm, the, I'm, yeah. I'm right that's what, that's us guys. That's us guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're the guys with the big white beard. Yeah. They're, they're, he hasn't got one of those. Um, and the, the one's light is inside all of us, right? So whether you're, you know, you're Sikh or you're Chinese or you're Jewish or Christian, it doesn't make a difference, it's right? It's interesting because that's so, what I, I, I go by the light too. I, use, right. I refer to it as light. Yeah, Life exactly. force energy or... Pran, people eat the word prana yeah, is actually prana. life force, right? So, yes. so we believe that he is the pran pati, the husband of the breath. Right, so yes. he where it came from, he blew into us, yes. and then now we. And it, when he when when it finishes, that's it, game over, right? right. We've only got X amount of pran inside us. So I don't know if you know that. That's like one thing that we believe that yeah. uh, you have a limited amount of breath, and that's why if you look at the old yogis in India, um, they used to meditate, but they used to slow down slow their, their breath, right? So they could live longer. So they could live for hundreds of years oh, because they would just like take each breath. They would take it like over months. So they they wouldn't even eat some of them. They would live off the air. Yeah. Um, and it was most of you, but we don't believe in that kind of um, harnessing those spiritual powers and stuff. We think it's more about like you know being a very good life, so that whatever time you do have, you do good with it, yes. right? And you meditate upon God's name yes. rather than kind of just extending, prolonging you know, long life. But then you're living up in the mountains, you're living off air. It's like what kind of life is that, you know? Yeah, no, I need to enjoy. Yeah, need to enjoy life. Yeah, right. And it's much more for us. It's like about family life. So a Sikh is not told you must separate. The world is not illusion for us. Because many people that have gone down that meditation aspect, they've kind of said, oh, the world is all illusion. Not the matrix, you know, it's all like fake. Right, right. But we say, okay, the world is fake from one angle, but also it's real from the other angle. Right? right. And from that real angle is, our job in this world <laughs> is, to, is to kind of live a normal life, like married, kids, having job, um, s uh, serving and sharing. But within that mud, right, you might call right. it, and remain pure, like the lotus flower, right? Mm -hmm. So the concept is always lotus within mud, it remains pure because it's got zero friction, right? right. Everything just rolls off. Yeah. So that's what we should be trying to do. So it's like being a monk, but not being a monk uh, in a monastery, but being a monk who happens to be married, uh, kids. And enjoying life. Uh, yeah, enjoying life, or well, enjoying it to an extent, but still enjoying the connection to God even more, yeah. right? Yeah. So, and then, you know, we, we don't really have any kind of, uh, the benefit of um, the gurus were, they were very open-minded. So there's no hatred inside the scriptures, like you've got to hate anybody. So you can be you know, can fully explore your loving side because there's no, one, there's no one who's an enemy to you, no one is a stranger. Mm -hmm. In fact, the exact quote, when Guru says, you know, I have no stranger, I see no stranger, I see no enemies. I'm with everybody, you know. So um, I actually I, don't allow my kids to use that word. Stranger? Hate. Oh, hate. oh that's great. We're not allowed to because we don't... Oh, because I hate you. When people say, I hate you, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, and these kids, I say, you're not allowed to say that. Yeah. We don't... That's very enlightening. You can't, you can't, if you hate that person, you hate yourself, yeah. and we can't, we can't right, do that. Right, right. An eye for an eye makes a whole world blind, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we also, we believe that, I don't know, you probably know about this from your Reiki time, but we believe that here at the top of our head, there's like a, uh, like a, we call it the 10th gate. Yeah. And this is like an energy center which we can connect to. Yeah. The crown uh, chakra. Yeah, the crown chakra, yeah. right? Um, and for us, it's not really... You can find it through singing divine, you know, singing praise of God, uh, meditation, honest living, or serving humanity. It can be just be like it's just God's grace upon you if it gets activated, yeah. and then you just you know you can connect to the one. And it's very very powerful, very divine, you know. Um, I've been telling a couple people, um, Sandeep Katraverk. Yeah. Um, she just married. Who did she just marry? What's her husband's name? Let's see. I think Mandeep's her. Oh no, Mandeep might be her. Um, okay husband right. but she was a student of mine at Alverno okay um, in, in Reiki um, no at, at Alverno College I'm a professor oh you're a professor as well oh, you're, yeah. you're, a, you're a woman with many hats right yeah <laughs> yeah but um, Alverno is the one that actually pays money <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, but I've been telling her I want to, I want to come to um, the good daughter? I do and I want to wear hey, tomorrow the, we're, I want I'm to wear everything oh, you want to wear the suit I yeah? want the whole I even yeah. told Raul too yeah. I said 
you know, yeah. I could get done well, up and... Tomorrow is the, is the ending of the, it's like an unbroken reading of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So they read, it's like the text, you know, the, the, our, our text we believe in, this one. It's, um, it's, it takes about 48 hours mm -hmm. to read the whole thing from beginning to end. Wow. 1430 um, uh, pages of Angs and um, it's scripture, but for us it's our Guru as well. Yeah. So the 10th the Guru, he said from now on, that you guys are now ready. Yeah, you've, you've, you've developed enough. So it was 200 years of the Gurus and they said now you are ready for following the scripture. Right. right? You can cope with just following the text. So then he said from now on the eternal Guru is a text. Mm. Right? So that's our scripture. What's interesting about the scripture is it's got the writings of people of other religions inside it. Nice. So it's like, a, it's, like, it's like an interfaith faith. Yeah. Right, it's like saying, oh, when I go to interfaith event, I always think like, oh, we are interfaith. Yes. Right, because you've got Kabirji, we've got Friji, like Hindus and Muslims yeah. inside the same text, you know. Very unique in that sense, you know. So like the Guru has got very open-minded and, you know, um, if, if you come tomorrow to Gurdwara, I'm doing a talk in English and Punjabi mix. Yeah. So that's going to be about... 12 o'clock okay. at, the, at the Oak Creek. Okay. That's the main place where it, where it happened, right? Where the shooting happened. Yeah. So, My yeah. daughter really wants to come too. So. Yeah. I'll bring it up. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'll leave you this. You know, did you know that everything's in there is poetry? No. I yeah, didn't. the whole text is all poetry and it's actually divided not by chapters but by music. So your family's into music. It's interesting. Yeah. So if you go into the text, you can never find a chapter on X, Y, and Z. You don't get that. All of it is just like poetry and the information's everywhere. Right. So wherever you read from, you will get what the Guru wants to teach you, right. not what you want to go and learn. Otherwise, I'll be like, I want to learn about this. And I'll go to that chapter and I'll just read that chapter and I'll ignore everything else. Right. But here the Guru remains in charge. So you have to go and open up any and everything is everywhere. Yeah. Because life is like that. You can't just give somebody, you know, teachings about Morality and then ignore spirituality, right? right? It's right. like a unified whole. So right. the message or is like a unified whole. prescribe to you how to be yeah. moral. Right. Without but really setting a context. Yeah, for exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, we have a YouTube channel, like I said, based on Siki. Check us out online. I think I already yeah. am one, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it. Well, you know, uh, uh, there's no. You know, like you have other faiths, they have like certain things that you have to be a Sikh. You, uh, so you have to be a Christian, you have to say this, or, you know, to be a Muslim, they have. Baptized. Right. Have we, we have a concept, there's only two types of people in this world. There's people, there's three, but there's people who are Sikhs. And there's people who are like the baptized Sikhs. So people that have this turban, beard and the, and the sword and stuff, they're the ones that have gone through initiation. Mm. But that's really only about less, about 5% of the entire Sikh population. Majority of Sikhs could be like none, yeah. you know. And so um, in that way, like we're very open, you know, in that sense. And the main thing really is, I mean, I'll tell you what the main five things that we think if you must sort of accept to kind of be in the Sikh, you know, within the house. Right, whether you whichever room you're in, you're in the house, right? Right. Uh, and that's basically that we believe in one, one God. Uh, we believe in the, the ten gurus uh, and what they taught and the examples. And some of those are in there, like I gave earlier in the speech, like you know the, the idea that the sixth guru actually built a mosque. That's unique, right? Ah, yeah. So they're the head of a faith. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like it's like if Prophet Muhammad was asked by the Buddhists, can you make us a, a temple, right? And, and and you know, but that never happened. But the gurus actually did that, so they made a mosque, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the um, <coughs> the the writings of the ten gurus, which is obviously the text Guru Granth Sahib Ji, mm -hmm. and also all writings of all, everything the ten gurus wrote, and that's it. So if you believe in the uh, uh, one Creator, the gurus and their writings, then that's it, you know. And all the writings, are, like I said, it's all poetry, yeah. And it's unique in the sense that you've got it in music and other people's writings. So like, as a Sikh, I sing like Nam Dev or Kabirji, who are like you know from a Hindu background, mm -hmm. or Fariji who's from Muslim. So we use the word Allah. We use the word Ram, we use all kinds of words for God. The Guru is trying to expand our mind because you know that people become very close minded yes. and, and that only like kind of begets hatred and yeah. a misunderstanding, right? So so the Gurus are like they are linguistic geniuses. They will sing in like Persian, mm. then they will sing in Braj, they will sing in different languages. Wow. So making us think like, hold on, there's this one truth, there's this one there's just this one thing all around the world, right? And don't get caught up in thinking that uh, you are the special chosen people. Right, right. Yeah? God choose people are special. But there's no group of people that are special and chosen, right? It's just like whoever's blessed is blessed, right? right. So and some of us make it harder, and some of us. <laughs> some people ruin it for everybody else, right? Yeah, some yeah. people like ruin that journey of life yeah. for everybody else. Yeah. Some of my really good friends um, are Muslim, and my friend Ida actually, you know, she's I've I've been to her house during Ramadan and right. feast with her, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and um, at, at, at sunset. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, the, the, I, the gurus had Muslim friends as well, like, with the, the fifth guru, you know, this, this, uh, this temple, which I talked about earlier, this, the golden temple, 
I don't know if you've seen it, this is the picture of it here. Oh, okay. The Golden Temple. Yeah. So it's like a very iconic picture, uh, place in India, very yeah. famous. It's a very, one of the few places that was made by the Prophet, right? So it's actually made by the Gurus, right? The fifth Guru made it. Now, what's interesting, it's got four doors, right? So it's like anybody's welcome. Yeah. Yeah. And the Guru is like very clear, like anybody can come here. So in some places they have like, oh, you can't come here if you're not one right. of us, right? right? But the Gurus are like, anybody can come here, it's for everybody. And then uh, inside that place, what's interesting is like, you step down to go in. Mm. You know most temples you go up, yeah. the Guru says go down. Why? Because you've got to be humble. Yeah. Right? Humility is the way to find God, right? And then there's only one way in. Around, there's a pool of water which is very nice, very peaceful. There's only one way into the temple and that signifies only one way to God, which is through love. Right? You can't get there through hatred, you can't get there through other things. Yeah. So the, 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 <laughs> the architecture was designed to teach us. Humility. Right? That, um, that Guru is like, I'm not just going to teach you with my words, or my actions, uh, my buildings can teach you as well, you know. Yeah. And then he says, like to us, there's a word. There's this place called Hari Mandar, and he says, Har Mandar eho hai. Mm. He says this body is God's temple, but he says use the same word. So like, I was thinking, like, how does he mean like the the, the God that the body is like the God's temple? Mm -hmm. um, but I realized, like, okay, there's only one way in. Right. Right. You have to go in from here into your heart, inside here you use God, right? So it's like the same kind of thing Guru Sahib is teaching us that if you become humble and then look inside yourself, instead of going outside the temple, you've got to go inside and then you look inside yourself and you start from here and go down. With meditation. Then, yeah, through meditation, meditation yeah. then you're going to find the divine inside yourself, right? And the thing you're looking for outside, it was always yeah. inside you the whole time. And then you regret like all those years you were looking outside because it's inside you. Right? I'm telling you, I think I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> this is you fantastic. Sound really, okay, oh, so check us out on YouTube. Come tomorrow if you can about I midday will. and um, yeah, come and have some of the free food. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm going to have to talk to some of my friends and they need to give me some clothes. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, Thank you so much. Nice to you. Okay. Are you on Facebook? Yeah, we are on Facebook. All our all our um, contact information is on there. So our Facebook page, uh, we're our Twitter, and you can reach me through these places. So. Oh, I'm so excited. Maybe that's why I lost my key today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll bid you goodbye. Very nice talking to you. Hopefully, Likewise. see you tomorrow. Guys, thank you for okay. coming and talking to me. No, I feel pleasure. like you were meant to talk to me today. <laughs> <laughs> I must have needed it. Bye, Guru. <laughs>